So Catalina, I'm going to hand over to you and let you have a bit of a chat and please introduce yourself to anyone who doesn't know Catalina, where have you been? And what we found was that our wedding leads uh, took up the majority of our time. Like you get a ton of wedding leads. And even as we, we like, you know, made things harder and harder for them to get into us so that we were only getting qualified leads, we still got people who were not qualified. So what we did- I'm want- in agreement though. I, I find sometimes, and we talked about this last week when we're doing sales, the more options you give people, the more objections you can come up against. Whereas if you- Yeah, the, the luxury media is just so beautiful, but it's also one of the hardest things to describe or to show on a video or photo. I'm sure you guys have tried to photograph it or video it. Like we've actually had to get our video editor to like add sheen to the video <laughs> just so that you can show it because it's impossible to translate and you have to see it. So we actually started mailing samples to our clients and that it costs like what, $4 in total for like the envelope, the card, the stamp and all of that. But when they see it, then they're like, yes, I want that. And you, we charge like $3 a print for the luxury paper. So if you think about a wedding that has it's like around $500 extra for a guest book. And there's a few reasons for this. One, we order. But I still think even at $150, it's not profitable. Because too many people are putting another attendant in place. So essentially, you're adding another service to that photo base with the guest book, your extra prints, the extra attendant, the book, it's another service. $150 is not going to cover it to make it profitable. It's beautiful that you do it that way and it's amazing customer service. It's not making you money. It's losing money. You know, Uh, this group is phenomenal. I learned something every single week. Um, yeah, and it, it pushes me outside of my comfort zone. So I'm grateful. 